Section 5.2b is about solving problems, specifically problems that are um, created as a direct variation. We want to look at each one of these uh, general equations and write them. Y varies directly as x. Well, that one is just going to be y equals kx, because we've said that when you see this word varies directly, it, it looks like this. So how would you write a varies directly as b? Well, it's very similar. It's just like y varies directly as, as x, a equals kb, with k being a constant of variation. So how would you write width varies directly as length? Something like that, width equals KL. And then distance varies directly as time, D equals KT. Now it's this, lo this last one we're going to use in the next slide, except we're not going to use the letter K, we're going to use the letter R. Because there's a fairly famous formula, D equals RT, which stands for distance equals rate times time. Here we're told a flock of geese migrate or travel 375 miles in seven and a half hours, and we have to write a direct variation. Well, we know the distance they travel. We know that 375 miles is our d, and we know that the time they travel is 7.5 hours. But we don't know the rate, and that's what we need. We need the r, or in this case, the constant of variation. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7.5, and that's going to give me an r of 50. Now that r acts like our k here, so I'm going to write my direct variation, d equals 50t. So that's the direct variation that we're going to use in this particular problem. The distance is 50 times however many hours they travel. Now I'm going to graph this direct variation. If you remember from previous slides, all direct variations go through the origin. So we know there's going to be a point here. The other point that I have is this one, 375 and 7 and a half. So I'm going to graph that. I'll start by labeling my graph with the hours here on the bottom because that's the independent value and the miles here on the side. And now I'll graph the point. 7.5 hours is about here, and that's 375 for miles, which is about right there. So now I can draw my, my line. And that's the graph of my equation, or my direct variation, d equals 50t. Now we have to estimate how many hours of flying it would take the geese to migrate 3,000 miles. We could look at the line, but our graph only goes up to 500 here, and 3,000 would be way off. Um, but one thing we can do is use the, the direct variation. We want to find how many hours it would take if they went 3,000 miles. So I'm going to plug 3,000 in for my distance, and then solve for the time, solve for t. So the 50s will cancel. You can cancel the zeros there. So really we're doing 300 divided by 5. So t equals 60, and we're labeling that hours. So it would take the geese 60 hours. Here's another direct variation. So suppose you work at a job where your pay varies directly as the number of hours you work. So that sentence should lead us to a direct variation where it says the pay, we'll call that P, varies directly as the number of hours. So P equals KH with K being the constant of variation. Now I've got to find what the K is by plugging these values in. My pay for 7.5 hours is $45 times 7.5. So we'll divide both sides by 7.5. So that means my K is a 6. So P equals 6H. There's my direct variation. My pay equals 6 times the number of hours. And that is the equation that I will be graphing. Because it's a direct variation, we know it's going to go through the origin. And now I need to set up my units for my um, independent value, which is the hours, and my dependent value, which is the pay. So here are my labels uh, for hours and for pay. Um, and the point that I'm going to use comes from right here. 7.5 hours is $45. So here's uh, seven and a half. And that goes up to 45. So there's my second point. One point is through the origin. Here's the other point. I can now graph my line. So there's the graph of P equals 6H. Now I have to find my pay if I work for 30 hours. Well, here's the benefit of that. I can go right here because 30 is actually on the line. So 30 hours gets me to this spot right here. And what's my pay going to be? $5.